What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, B-Boy John 20. We're going to do my AEW Dynamite review and results. Good share of with Tanks, the AEW League Champion. Hit that like button. Hit that red button. Let's get started. Now, AEW was a good show. That's all I got to say. It was just a good show. We kick off with the with a live shot of a brand playing Trump in music on the entrance. And then Virgil appears in the ring. Discorrelate, decorate with giant gifts. And Macy's Thank You Day Parade looking floats. Virgil introduced himself as Soul Train Jones before making some jokes and then botching Chris Jericho's name when introduced him. Thank you. Thank you. Thanksgiving celebration for Elite Champion. Alright, this was a funny segment. This was the best segment of the night. But um, that's, that's just my thoughts, my opinion. So here we go. With that said, Jericho emerged from the entrance way as the trumpets play him as he walks to the ring. To the to walks to the ring, baby face pops from the fans in chill in Chinatown. Um, before before he can, before he can before he can talk to the the fans chant, thank you Jericho, thank you Jericho. Jericho says some heal stuff about the fans in Chicago, not mattering. And that he wants a thank you from the AW management. Um, he says he's going to kick off this show with a gift for everyone. He tells fans to look under the seat. They do and find a ticket. They all cheer. Jericho tells them to it's a coupon for fifty dollar of a T-shirt of Lee Champion. They all boo. Jericho talks about scattering the earth to find. The best tasting grapes for a little bit of, for a little bit for a little bit of the bubbly. Hashtag a little bit of the bubbly. Before announcing a new website at littlebittofthebubbly.com, a graphic airs on the screen to plug the website. Now Jericho introduced the, the rest of the inner circle, and how comes Sammy Guerrero, Santana, and Ortiz, pound and powerful. Jack Hanger is not the site. Guerrero. Gets on the gets on the mic and calls Jericho a father figure before telling the fans to shut up. They introduce a cardboard cut out of himself and Jericho and Jericho as a give to Lee Champion. Uh, Jericho thanks the Spanish God. Santana and Ortiz give Jericho some grooming items and other personal man like gifts for Lee Champion. Now then show him a picture and a bunch of other cinematic send comic gifts such as a little bit of the little bit of the forty the fan chant forty forty as a paper bag forty ounces alcohol beverage is hosting in the air. Jericho cracks jokes. Jericho asks, "Where's Hagger?" It's finally we see a big hurt himself with a pet go of of Chris Jericho name. Jericho. Chris Jerry Goat. Who came up with that name? <laughs> Who came up with that name? This was funny to me. And it was hilarious at the same time. The fans chant Jerry Goat. Jerry Goat. Cherry Goat. Now due to extreme currency, Jericho asks what give is in the bigger, biggest box in the ring. Santana and Ortiz tell him it's a big surprise for him. Jericho gets excited as they open the box to show New York Ranger Gray. And Jericho's father, Trent, Arvin, and a H H N H L jersey and all. Ted invited, not I'm sorry. Ted and, and Vines tries for a cheap pop, but purposely says this is great to be back in New York City to get the fans to boo. The fan chant, "Let's go Blackhawks!" Jericho informs Jericho informs his father they are in Chicago. The home of the NHL Blackhawks, Ted Arvin, beg brags about beating the Blackhawks at, at all the time during his career as part of the NHL Rangers. He brag he brags about beating up some guy named Bobby Hall, an NHL legend. He says Jericho. He says Chicago will always be. Whips uh, for some more cheap heat. Jericho's notice 
that his father is holding a bag. He asks what they are. Ari Ar says it's custom. New York, New York Ranger NHL jersey from the members of the inner circle. They open the bag and all uh, it all unfolds their custom jersey with with the fans inside. Sears Center Arena chant. Ranger sucks, Ranger sucks. He says he says they all had some fun, but now it's time to get down to it. He claims to have a thank you management for the exclusive and the brass at NXT. Uh, brass at TNT. I'm saying T, I'm sorry. The brass at TNT. He says he doesn't feel like reading, so so he calls the AEW ring announcer Justin Roberts to to do so. Roberts comes in and gets some some cheap love for saying he loves down the road, and that's when the local the the that's when that's when to a local high school. Jericho says his his high school sucks. Robert read Roberts read the formal message written on an AEW letterhead document. When he when he's done, Jericho tells him it was okay, it was okay, but he didn't appreciate Roberts' tone while while reading it. He bullied him and asked why he bullied him and asked why he thinks he thinks he doesn't deserve a thank you. He smacked Roberts in the face and microphone, which begins for a, for a full on beat down from the inner circle. Out comes the merch, the marching brand that played the trumpets of Jericho interest. They tear off their clothing to be real, weren't brand members at all. But we're in the we're we're in, we're in fact the members of the so-called assessor in race in disguise. They they take out the inner circle who we, who repeats up the assign, assail the AEW tag team champions and the. And the, and the man who will challenge Jericho for the AW title tonight. Scorpio King staying tall in the ring and Jericho in the inner circle. Brigger, Brigger then from the ramp. Alright, um, that, what's on the tape for tonight? Uh, we should, we shoot up the announcement table. We were Jim Ross and Exxon, Excalibur, and the AEW announcement team. Run down some of the match of the segment. As Cody Rhodes retires, the fans of the Dynamite Ring match between Hangman, Adam Page, and M MJF with DDP on hand to present to present to the winner Kenny Omega versus Pac, Jericho versus Scorpion King, and the AEW World Heavyweight Champion. We t we are not told that Tony Chavon. It's out on the assistant. And Marco Solos, Martinez, and Ali, and all Ali Fleet are now seeing Mary Cassidy of their friend, of their friends at State Farm, is introduced. Um, Alright, Best Friends versus the Lucha Bros. This match was very good. This match is very good. The Best Friends, Trent, the Best Friends, Trent, and Chuck Taylor. Make their way out with Orange Cassidy dressed up in a Thanksgiving costume. Um, as they head to the ring, they attack. They are attacked from behind by the Lucha Bros. Pentagon Jr. and Ray Finch. They brought down the ramp until Cassidy in his turkey costume and all flies off the top and splashing on onto the guys on the floor. The best friends roll. Roll the Lucha Bros in the ring, and the bell sounds. The official kicks this one off within seconds. Taylor and Trent hug in the top, and and the fans pop. The pace, the 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 pace picks up now. Now as Taylor and Trent jumps off the early offensive and leads, and leads in this tag team affair. Jim Ross takes us to mid car commercial. I'm sorry. We will turn and we see Ray Flinch is in the ring talking, to, talking it to Trent. As the Lucha Bros have appeared to have taken over the offense in the in the contest, Ray Flinch knocks Taylor off the 
Avery and Tang say Pentagon who comes off the top with a missile drop kick for a near fall. Trent makes the tag. Chuck Taylor takes the hot tag and is taking taking out anyone any and yelling and everything that moves. <clears throat> As it appears. The Lucha Bros were going to regain the advantage with a two count with the two on one attack. Taylor throws to a finch and then hits a suicide dive and crashes on two both guys on the floor. As Taylor goes as Taylor goes followed up with a super kick, he is taken out by the Lucha Bros. They hit a uh, big tote rope spot on Trent and now for a close near fall. Um, Orange Cassidy is is in a turkey. A custom jumps jump on the Avery and Slave flaps his rings to try trying to provide a distraction. Um, Taylor flies off the ring and steps and steps taking out Pentagon who went out on the floor to co- to confront Cassie back in the ring. Train hits a close line trusty for a one, two, three. The best friends just defeated the 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 number and one rank the WWE Tag Team Champions the Lucha Bros. The winner of the match the the um, best friends. All right, let me go back. B uh Bay uh what's his what's her name Bay Petrusley and Emma Shakura and versus Shakura Shida Shakaru Shida and Chris Salander. This match was decent. This 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 match this match was decent. I ain't gonna lie, this match was decent. But who won this match? Who won this match? Um who won? Hey, the winner of the match B purchasely B purchasely and Emma Sakura. John Mossy calls calls the calls to the arms the open challenge. Okay. Um Cody versus Rag Nicks. This match was this match was also good too. And the winner of the match, Cody Cody Rhodes. Yeah, the winner of the match, Cody. I say Cody Rhodes. After the match, the blade attack. The blade. Uh, the blade and the butcher attacks Cody. I don't know who the but the, the blade and the butcher is. I never heard of these two people before. I never heard of them before. After the match, Cody gets on the mic and tells MJF they don't have to wait. They can do it. This right here, right now. With with that said, the masked man appears standing behind Cody in the ring. The ex cobra says, It's the blade. Jim Ross says who? Um The fans start chanting, Who are you? Who are you? From the another guy that comes from comes from under the ring that we told is the butcher. Um, the blade and the butcher attack Cody. They beat him down and beat him down and hit him with some kind of double team move. Finally, the buddy Ali emerges. Um, the, they pose as their fans boo, and we head to commercial break while Cody is being attended to the ringside medical and facilities. Now I never heard the 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 blade and the butcher. I never heard of these two before. But I didn't mind they attack Cody Rhodes. I didn't mind it. Kenny Omega versus Pac. This this match this was what this is what a rematch from last week. So um it is what it is. Um I think who won this match? Kenny Omega won this match. AW Dynamite Dose and Diamond Ring. Hangman Hangman Page versus MJF. This match was this match was good too. It says the winner the winner of the match, winner of first animal Annual AEW Dynamite Diamond of Diamond Ring MJF. After the match, Diamond Dallas Page presents the AEW Dynamite Diamond Ring to MJF. I um, that was good too. D- Dustin Rose and the Young Bucks battle proud and powerful and Sammy Guerrero. Guerrero, it's good to see the Young Bucks, but that's all I gotta say. The Dark Order, the the Dark Order Cloud Vintage. Alright, um, that was good too. The AEW World AEW World Heavyweight Champion Scorpio Sky versus Chris Jericho. To me, I thought Scorpio Sky won, became the new AEW World Heavyweight Champion. But this match, this match was good too. But 
But I already know who I already know who won this match. Chris Jericho retains the, retains the AEW World Heavyweight Champion. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed my AEW Dynamite review and results, Chris Jericho retains the AEW League Champion. Hit that like button and comment down below what you guys think of AEW. And I will talk to you guys later. Big Boy Johnny 25, and I'm out of here.